This is still the greatest natural disaster to hit the United States. Even after all this time, you know, you think, oh, well, uh, Katrina or Sandy. I mean, 10,000 people died in this, this hurricane. And the loss of, of property and, and uh, infrastructure and, and even changed the, it changed the topography of, uh, of the Galveston Inlet. So it was, it was a devastating uh, uh, hurricane on, on all accounts. But I, I thought that there was another way to look at this, the, the diff- some different stories, almost in a sense, uh, these separate lives uh, these different people, these disparate characters, all kind of uh, being united by this one natural disaster that would change their lives forever. Some of them uh, survive and some of them don't. And, and in 1900, they ignored the, uh, the best data that was, that was uh, available. Because it was Cuban, it was, it was ignored. And uh, we paid the price for it. Uh, if you look at uh, journalism, the state of journalism, uh, how back then the media, big media, were newspapers. And and uh, uh, the publishers would do whatever it took to get the story. And today you look at the media, whatever, you, however you want to define it, and what happens in, in the pursuit of getting a big story, getting that get. So I, I think beyond the weather story, there are parallels to our own society that go back to 1900 that we're still kind of learning how to deal with.